Cryogen differs from other interpolation methods. As you probably know, it was invented in 1950s to locate gold deposits, which seem randomly distributed. It makes predictions at unsampled locations based on correlation between data points. It not only estimates the value at an unsampled point, but also provides a measure of uncertainty expressed as variance. Cryogen is very easy to run in SGEMS. SGEMS is open source user-friendly geostatistical modeling software. Before we run any geostatistical estimation, we need to create a grid where data can be modeled. You can watch one of the previous episodes where this is explained in more detail. Emma is on holidays, but I will explain quickly how you can prepare a variogram and run the algorithm in a matter of minutes. Before we start with variogram, it is useful to check variance of dataset, which correlates with SIL. SIL is the maximum distance where the variance between data points stops increasing. Data points are grouped into lags. We will need to specify number of lags and their length or separation. We also need to specify the azimuth of variogram. For all directions, variogram tolerance should be above 95 degrees. Although we use here only one variogram, it is good to construct it for each direction. These directions are defined by geological structures. For example, we can align variograms along and across the direction of straight a dip. We can adjust parameters until data points are aligned along a curve and still reaches the value of variance. Once we are happy with our variogram, we need to adjust the curve to define the maximum and minimum ranges for cryogen. We can use the variance we have read from the data histogram to specify SIL. Now, based on the variogram, we can type the ellipsoid dimensions for cryogen and run the algorithm. If you have data from many directions, you can also include them in this section. Apart from the distribution of parameter, we get variance distribution, which is a measure of uncertainty. Low variance showing lower uncertainty is near data points and increases with distance. Finally, to export the grid, specify the file format and data set which you want to save. Next, choose the property fields. Remember that cryogen has limitations. For example, struggles with data sets with abrupt changes or no stationary data. Thank you for your time. Press subscribe and receive updates.